Now it is time to fan the hammer. So Matthew Riley was surprised by the success of his Interceptor movie, which reached number one in the top ten of on on Netflix. Um, he also claimed that, like you know, he didn't expect it. Right. Mm. Uh, so Squid Game is getting a season two, which is good because I'm finally finishing it now. <laughs> fucking a year on oh, good. there is there is also a reality series called the challenge which is in the works and dropping soon this is going to be the biggest game show ever stefano massini is developing his le man trilogy for tv show it's going to be a big budget big recreation of his five hour play fucking hell that's long uh but no streamer has been confirmed just yet so the knives out sequel has been titled glass onion a knives out mystery much like agatha christie's shits Mm. uh the lincoln lawyer has been renewed for season two the old guard two has started filming if you haven't noticed all the spider-man films bar no way home has hit every non-us disney plus region so check it out there from june 17th manny montana no relation to Hanny Montana has joined the Iron Heart series. Or Astro, Toadie. huh? Or Toadie. <laughs> or Toadie. <laughs> Astro Boy has been rebooted as a series. Gina Gershon and Joe Pantoliano is joining Chucky season two, which gives us a bound reunion with Jennifer Tilly. There, it, the prequel series, Welcome to Derry, has opened its writers' room. Little Twitter post there with some balloons hanging outside the door. I would not fucking go in there, but let's no. hope the people that do go in there give us something. And better be Mike Flanagan on the writers' room too, you cowards mm. of Warner Brothers. Nick Jonas <laughs> and Glenn Powell are teaming up in foreign relations, um, and everyone's gone crazy in this fucking bidding frenzy for this movie because of those two. Disney Plus is developing a Wonder Man TV series with Daniel Dustin Cretton. Uh, uh, in in that uh, development role, mm. for some reason they thought, "Hey, uh, let's let's get a Jon Snow sequel series to Game of Thrones happening," because um, we want to show him being the king of the wildlings humbly. Uh, Zootopia Plus is releasing uh, 9th of November this year, which is a short form TV show, possibly all episodes released at the same time. The Lord of the Rings is getting a whole H presentation at Comic Con. This is mm. the Lord of the Rings, the Amazon show, the Rings of Power. Uh, Snowpiercer, which is the Netflix show, is ending with season four, which I haven't watched yet. Uh, Adam McKay has planned his next project, which is called Big Dirty Money. He said it's going to be much like Don't Look Up, but about like you know the money industry. Uh, we got our first looks at Okoye and Shuri there uh, for Black Panther, uh, Wakanda Forever, which looks all right. Like, they, they looked the part for sure. Uh, Chris Evans has said, nah, I wouldn't play Captain America again unless the story was so fucking good that, like, you know, they needed me back. Across the Spider-Verse, villain has been re- revealed to be the spot uh, who, like... Uh, Oh, I don't know, fucking throw spots on his fucking enemies and weakens them. Played by Jason Schwartzman there. Uh, Lightyear, the new Disney Pixar... <laughs> the new Disney Pixar movie won't open in the Middle East due to a same-sex kiss. Uh, yeah. Uh, Paddington in Peru will be the title of Paddington 3. Uh, and it won't be directed by Paul King this time, this time directed by music video director Dougal Wilson. <laughs> Dougal. Mm. <laughs> um, it has been rumored that Joker 2 is going to be a musical and they're enlisting Lady Gaga to play Harley Quinn. Don't know how much truth is in that. Take it with a grain of sand. Mm-hmm. Justin Lin is going to direct the One, One Punch Man film for Sony after getting out of the Fast X film. Chris Miller will direct the Smurfs musical. Nico Santos has joined the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 film. Taika Waititi wants his Star Wars adventures to stand alone, so you're not going to see old Ben Kenobi or fucking Chewbacca's mom or, or Yoda in his in his movies, which I think is cool. Okay. These new stories need to stand alone. The Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim, which is the animated um, film, feature film, 
is set for the 12th of April, 2024. In that movie, we've got Brian Cox, which is, who's going to play Helm Hammerhand. Luke Pasqualino is going to be the Dunlending Lord Wolf. Guy Wise is playing Hera Hammerhand, the, the daughter of Brian Cox. And Miranda Otto is coming back to the role of Eowyn. Uh, Eowyn. Eowyn. Fuck it now. Hey, hey, Eowyn. <laughs> uh, and we got a first look at, at Gosling, at Ryan Gosling as Ken mm. in the Ken role, doing his double thumbs up with his cut off denim vest. Just jacked. <laughs> yeah. He's got like washboard abs and everything. Specimen. Uh, we're going to get three Avatar, the last airbender films that will be shown theatrically. Like, this is a big fucking deal. Mm. Josh Andre Rivera has joined the cast of the Hunger Games prequel. Um, he will play one of the mentors to um, someone in another district. Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning are reteaming from uh, Man on Fire for The Equalizer Part 3. Dirty Dancing 2, the Jennifer Grey follow up directed by Jonathan Levine, is dropping the 9th of February 2024, just before Valentine's Day. Is planned. It's strategic. Tom Hol- Tom Holland. Tom Hardy has revealed that the Venom Three first draft of the script has dropped and has been finished. So they're developing that right now. Josh Segura, Jack Champion, Liana Liberato, and Devin Nakata- Nakoda have joined Scream Six. Um, Universal Pictures is considering the Cleopatra film, picking that up. Um, but yeah, because it's it's just too expensive and shit. Uh, Guy Ritchie is going to direct Hercules. He's going to put the Glad in Gladiator. And French Cinema Federation is upset with Disney's decision to drop Strange World straight to Disney Plus. Disney basically just said that's going to eat up like you know so much time getting that film back to our streaming service, which is going to cost us money. So it's just not like you know. It's it's not viable for us right now. So I'm sorry, France. We're going to bypass everything, and we're going to make sure that we have that content up on Disney+. Plus. So that film is going to star Dennis Quaid, who's going to play Jake Gyllenhaal's father for the second time. Very I love good. it. Uh, Jabuki Young-White, Gabrielle Union, and Lucy Liu. We're all going to be in the voice cast. And that is Fanny. 